Now, as you can see, I've copied down the diagram that we're given, and we've got to find the equation of line L. So, how do we find an equation of a line? Well, essentially, you should know that the uh, equation of a line is going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and we've already got that, the point m, 3, 1, so we can use that. But what we haven't got is m, the gradient. Now, because the line L is perpendicular to AB, what we can do is find the gradient of AM and then use the perpendicular rule for gradients and we can get the gradient then of the line L and we should then be able to find it. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of how I'm going to go about this. So, first of all then, what we need is to get the gradient of AM. So, just write an intro there. Gradient of AM Remember, gradient between two points is the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So we can do 1 minus minus 2, so 1 minus minus 2, all divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1. Work that out, and what you've got is a gradient of 3 on the top divided by... 2, 3 over 2, a gradient of 1 and a half. Leave it like that, so we use the perpendicular gradient rule, and so we can say that therefore the perpendicular gradient, hopefully you know the perpendicular gradient rule, that is that you just invert the fraction and switch the sign. So inverting the fraction gives 2 thirds, switch the sign and you get minus 2 thirds. So that's the gradient of the line L. So now we're in a position then to use the general equation of a line. So we can say that therefore equation of L is, okay, and what is it? Well it's going to be y minus y1. y1 then point on the line is going to be the point M, so we can take the y coordinate as being 1 equals the gradient minus 2 thirds and then x minus x1 so x minus the x coordinate which is 3 now essentially it said find an equation for the line L so essentially that's it done you can leave it like that and it'll be fine however you might want to put it into various forms. Let's just suppose you're asked to put it in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, a very popular form. What I would want to do is just times by three. So if we times by three, what we get then would be three y minus three equals, and then this would just leave us with minus two times x minus three. So if we expand the bracket, we'll get minus two x plus six. And if we just rearrange that by adding 2x and subtracting 6 from both sides, you would get the, therefore 2x plus 3y and then minus 9 equals 0. So that would be the format ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a would be 2, b would be 3 and c would be minus 9. Okay, well that brings us to the end of the first part then of this question.